We have to have a car conversation. We gotta have a car conversation. Because, you know, something just has to be discussed on your way to work, okay? So, let's go! Hello, 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 everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jamie's Corner. And it's time for another car conversation on Jamie's Corner. Okay. It's been a long time, y'all, since I did a car conversation. It's been a minute. Okay. Mainly because it was real hot outside. And I hate that my phone get real hot when it's in the hotel, whatever. But. Y'all know I only do these on the way to and from work, okay? However, how y'all doing? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Now, y'all know current conversations is quick chats on my way into the office or whatever about a topic or two. And y'all see the thumbnail. Okay, now look. First things first, you know, to like the video, comment in the comment section. Share the video. Okay, follow me on social media at JV's Corner on IG, Twitter, and TikTok. Other touch. That way, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good things. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, come on over here and be a J Bird. Okay. Oh, let me sing it. Come on over here, J Bird, J Bird, da 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 da, and all that goodness and stuff. It's been a long time, y'all. Okay. Now look, y'all know most YouTubers have a code have a rule okay we gotta we gotta follow the rule of we don't really talk about other youtubers like that you know what I'm saying we don't get involved in the drama of it all but I feel like this isn't that because in my thought process I'm like Funky Don't Even did not make these comments on his YouTube channel on his YouTube page Funky Don't Even is a talk show host on TGIF on Fox Soul with Claudia Jordan with Al Reynolds and if another if, if Whoopi Goldberg said this it would be a conversation if Sherry Shepard said this it would be a conversation if Charlotte God said this it would be a conversation so I was like in my head I don't feel like I'm breaking any code you know what I'm saying discussing this about what Funky said because Funky said it on a TV show on a, on a talk show you know what I'm saying if Al said it it be a okay. And plus, y'all know how I feel when things cross over into the blogs and stuff like that with celebrities and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It becomes free game. So, y'all know TGIF on Fox Soul, which is with Funky Daniva, Al Reynolds, and Claudia Jordan. Okay? Now, they were discussing, you know what I'm saying, Hallie. The rumors that Hallie is pregnant. That was the topic. Okay, and the fact that Hallie has not came out and said yes, I'm pregnant. She ain't came out and said no, I'm not pregnant. But she has posted a photo or two that show her body as you know, maybe saying she's not. Now I don't know if she's pregnant or not. It ain't my business. Okay, I already said if she is, she is. If she ain't, she ain't. But that's her uterus, her womb, her choice. Her life. And until she feels the need to come out and say, yes, I am a child. Until she come out and say, yes, it's a baby up in me. That's up to her. But they were discussing it on Fox Soul TGIF. Now, Al said his point is, I'm going to put the clip in, the, I'm going to put the clip in at least of what Funky said, because I'm driving, of course. Uh, I'm going to clip it in at some point. Y'all to hear what he said about Chloe, who was defending her sister Hallie. Okay, now first of all, I was mad that all three of them, all three of them, was mispronouncing her name. I'm like, her name is Hallie Bailey. Just like Hallie Berry, and they kept calling her Haley. And I'm like, her name ain't Haley. 
how y'all don't know that girl name? Now y'all know I'm good at mispronouncing names, okay? But not the people who I feel like, you know, we know the person's name. We know the girl name, okay? That was one thing that aggravates me, but whatever. But what it got to funky in his point in what was supposed to be a conversation about Hallie possibly being pregnant, he was like, you know, well, for at that point, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm, I hope, I hope I remember <laughs> to cut it in right here. If not, it's cut in somewhere. What do you think about this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't play with you, Q. <laughs> this story, before I was indifferent about Chloe Bailey, and I know the story is about Haley. I can officially say, I don't like her. Chloe Bailey is so goddamn lame to me. First of all, girl, you are Miss Preppy Ashley from the suburbs. Then you came out, you was being all promiscuous and shit. And then now you're trying to be a gangster. None of it is fucking believable, girl. None of it is believable. And I'm probably gonna catch a lot of backlash for this. And without that makeup, she ain't cute. She should have never showed up on that camera with that fat ass face without no makeup. She ain't cute. You're not believable. You're so goddamn inauthentic. That's why your shit ain't selling. All right, that's number one. Number two, I don't like people playing in our face, right? The girl is clearly pregnant. She's pregnant, all right? I analyzed that video. It's one thing to have the big piece on. She was waddling, and then when she went to put her arm around the girl, the, the dress draped over the stomach. You could visibly see the damn bump, all right? She didn't shut down shit showing these old-ass videos. If she wanted to shut something down, she'd have stayed her ass to hell home, all right? That's number one. Number two, that, that video, that old-ass B-roll, stop playing in our damn face. Mama is pregnant. And listen, the biggest concern is not her being pregnant in Disney. The biggest concern is her being pregnant from that goddamn loser. Mama, we was looking out for you, Haley. And you don't fuck around and let this nigga trap you. Because that's exactly what he did. He strike me as a type that put a baby in her own purpose, all right? And we was rooting for you. All right. Now, I hope that we live in a more progressive generation in society where it won't affect her Disney stuff. It probably will now because you can't be around here playing a child and you a whole damn mama. But I think the black community and although she don't belong to us and she don't owe us shit, I just think we're grossly disappointed because we saw more for her than this damn loser that she's with. And he went on to say how I don't like Chloe. She's inauthentic. She's fake. She want to be gangsta. You know, why she get up on the screen? You know, she ugly without makeup. She got a fat face. She's not successful. I was like, well, who pissed your Cheerios? Who pissed your Frosted Flakes? Who pissed you off? How that happen? What she do to you? Y'all know my rule is, if I don't like somebody, I don't like them because of their actions. And my thing is, if you feel like she's inauthentic, fine. If you feel like, you know, you don't like her, fine. But what was the, she ugly without makeup and she had a fast face. I was like, she don't, I'm like, look. When people talk about people, and we know, Funky is always calling you your hoes with the wide backs, you know, whatever. Whatever. But I feel like there was no need, there was really no need for the comments about Chloe because all Chloe said while she was on live and some if you watch Chloe's live she was on live somebody in the comments that she said is Hallie pregnant and then she said you know keep my sister name out your mouth and people in the background like we don't play about you know we don't play about Hallie you know, gonna get me upset because she's the big sister. She was playing, she was being big sister. That's how your family supposed to ride for you. I'm little sister. You know, my sister's a year older than me, and I cuss you out by my store all day. Oh, my brother. Oh, period. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, why did you go off on Chloe because she was defending her sister? That ain't somebody being gangster. That's called being a big fucking sister. And she didn't say, I'm going to beat your ass. I'll fuck you up. She didn't say any of that. All she said was, keep my sister's name out your mouth. They did sit in the background because we don't play about, you know, about Hallie. Don't get me upset. So what? She's supposed to speak up and defend her sister. And if Hallie is not ready to tell the world that she's pregnant because people already be judging her because of who she dating so if she don't want y'all rule motherfuckers in her business that's her choice 
that's her choice to not tell anybody. And the reason I felt offended was because I felt like Chloe didn't say anything to warrant the smoke he gave her. At all. She ain't said nothing to that man. Nothing. All she, all Chloe been doing is living her lies. And I'm not going to call her and tell her she's not successful. Like, that's why she ain't successful. I was like, she is. She's on tour. She may not be to the level of a Beyonce. But she has fans who rock with her the same way people rock with him. And and people are, people, people are upset. You hear me? People are upset because it was like, why are you attacking her and her looks? And it felt, it, it felt negative. It felt mean spirited. It, it felt, it, it felt like it was just, it was, it was mean. It was mean. And I'm all for most. You can read folks that you want to read folks that you want to read folks. But when you out here reading a woman for how she looked because you don't like the fact that she defended her sister, it's like why are you upset about that? Why? The fat face, you ugly, but I, and I'm like, first of all, she not, she not ugly, and she not fat. And why she up on K? I was like, what? 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 You, what is going on? And other people, because once it made to the, once it made into the blogs, and everybody was in the same, like, why? Like nobody understood the reasoning for such harsh, you know words towards Chloe who ain't did shit. Then as they got into you know Hallie's pregnancy. She don't want to be she don't want nobody to know she's pregnant. Stay at home. Why? Does she have to have at home? Why can't she just wear a big ass shirt? And y'all leave it fucking on. So I was like I don't know who pissing the Cheerios. I don't know who did it. But when you are on a talk show as a talk host you should be held liable for what you say. Now I know Fox Soul wants the attention because it's all about you know views, likes, and all that stuff. Now when I when they clip, they, you know they, they put the thing in clips, and so that clip, that clip part of their show is like maybe like seven minutes. I'm happy the comment section was like, what the fuck was that? Like why you do that? Because at some point we have to protect people. Because you don't, he don't have to like Chloe. He do not have to like Chloe. He ain't got like no damn body. At all. No one has to. But it's like, what was the point for being coming off so mean and hateful towards her, like she did something to you? And I also feel like if she even your demographic, hell, she barely mad. Not forty one. And I feel like sometimes we have to get certain people ain't, ain't our demographic. I'm not listening to, to Sexy Red. That ain't my demographic. So, if Chloe, you know, who I've never heard anyone say anything negative about her. He also called her promiscuous. I'm like, how, the, who, how was she promiscuous? Who she fucking? To me, women exercising their right to be sexualized. In their own way, women who want to explore their femininity and explore this being sexy, you know, appreci appreciating their body, how they look, dressing a little bit different. That's fine. She's in her early 20s. We heard now, now, room with that girl fucking and sucking and doing things. We heard that, so how she promiscuous? So, to even align the fact that she had a sexy image. Dancing sexily, looking good. Do, oh, now she promiscuous. I was like, again, why? It, it's it, it's like, what did she do to you? <laughs> did you not like one of her songs? Did you, would you? It was like, what happened? So a lot of the comments I saw were people like, what the fuck did she do? Like, what are we, what are we missing? Because it came out of left field, and I'm like, he already has people who feel like he, you know, bashes black women. He already has people who feel like he's mean-spirited. So why would you want to dig deeper into that trope to make folks feel like, well, you don't like black women? Because look how you talk about her and she need the issue. She wasn't even a topic. Her sister was. So Chloe called her straight because you, I was like, what the hell? What the hell? So I'm, I, I, I'm a, I, it, I was offended. As a woman, I was offended because I was like, she just didn't warrant that. And we can't allow people to talk to us any kind of way. We should not allow folk to just 
rant in that way. Because that wasn't his opinion is his opinion. He has a right to his opinion. Full fledged stop right there. He has a right to his opinion. What the fuck is you doing? You must what the fuck? Bro? Yeah. Okay, I'm back now, y'all. Uh he has a right to his opinion for sure. But I feel like when you can't be um direct enough to know that you cross the line for no reason, then that's on you and you don't catch smoke. That's on you. And I also felt like Claudia who was trying to explain like Hallie don't have to tell y'all she's pregnant. How do y'all know this it's okay? How y'all know how far long she is? Some folk don't tell for because you can have a miscarriage. So you keep it quiet. We don't know if she's pregnant for one. Or if she is, no one knows how far along she is, what's going on. Hell, how do we not know she don't have a medical condition where she's bloated? And she don't want to talk about it. There are so many female issues that men need to shut the fuck up about. Our uterus is our uterus. Our womb is our womb. Just stop. She don't owe us nothing. At all. If Hallie is pregnant, she will tell us when she wants to. Or she may not never tell us. She may keep her baby, her baby in hiding like George Clooney. Anyway, y'all. I'm at work. What do y'all think in the comment section of what he said? You know, do she owe us any kind of explanation or no? I don't think she do. And Chloe is a beautiful young black woman. She has a beautiful shape, a beautiful face. She's gorgeous. And even if she wasn't, that ain't nobody's motherfucking business. Okay, anyway, I gotta go. I love you all. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on social media at JD's Corner on ID, Twitter, and Tick of the Talk. I will talk to y'all later on. I gotta go. Bye. Peace.